The topic of this video is determining the present or future value of a lump sum of money. Let's look at a problem. Find the principal needed now to get $400 after three years at 8% compounded monthly. Okay, let's begin. The first thing I notice about this problem is, says, is that it says it's compounded monthly, meaning that it's not continuously, so I will not use the PERT formula. Instead, I will use the formula F equals P parenthesis 1 plus R over N close parenthesis to the N times T power. Let's read the problem and identify the values of the variables as we go. Find the principal. So that means P will be left as P in the equation. It's what I need to solve for. Needed now to get $400 at some point in the future. So F is equal to 400. When? After three years, which is telling me the value of T. At 8%, which is telling me the interest rate, remember that the percent symbol is the same as the decimal 0 0.01. Side by side means multiply. 8 times 0 0.01 is 0 0.08. Compounded monthly. There are 12 months in a year. That tells me that N is 12 for this problem. All right, let's plug in F, 400, P, our variable that we want to solve for, R, 0 0.08, N, 12, and then N times T would be 12 times 3. Okay, let's do some math here. Following order of operations, the first thing I want to do is 0 0.08 divided by 12. And I get a repeating decimal here. I get 0.0066666, and those sixes go on forever. And then when I add 1, I get 1.00, and then followed by an infinite number of sixes. You've probably seen before that when a digit repeats, you can put a bar over it to indicate that that digit goes on forever. And 3 times 12 is 36. Okay. So now I have to make a decision. How do I solve for P? Well, in this particular instance, I note that P is not up in the exponent, so I do not use my converter. Instead, I notice that P is being multiplied by this particular exponential value. And so if I divide by that exponential value on both sides, that will tell me what P equals. So on the left, I'm going to divide by 1.006 bar raised to the 36th power. And the right, I will also divide by 1.006 bar raised to the 36th power. The exponentials will cancel, leaving me what P is exactly equal to. All right, so P is exactly equal to 400 divided by 1.006 bar raised to the 36th power. And all I have to do now is put this in my calculator. All right, let's do it. So I'm gonna to have to use some parentheses here so that my entire denominator is in parentheses. So I'm gonna do 400 divided by open parenthesis 1.00 and then a bunch of sixes. I'm just gonna hit a bunch of sixes here. Raised to the 36th power then a right arrow to get outside of my exponent so I can close the parentheses for my denominator and hit enter. And the value I get is 314.901852. Of course, this is principal, this is money, so that means I need two decimal places, one for dimes, one for pennies. And this one tells me that I should round down, which means I have $314.90. So the answer to the question is, I need $314.90 today so that I can invest it in an account yielding 8% compounded monthly and come back three years later to find that my account is now worth $400.